Hey everyone, Thought Steve here with 1730 Team Driven. And let me tell you guys something, this team is driven. They were finalists at their first event, but then winners at their second event. And today to talk to their robot with me, we have Adam, Carter, and Christian. They'll be talking about their amazing robot, angled elevator, dual system intake, and they'll be talking about all that here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. All right, Carter. Talk to me about your, you, have, you seem like you guys are using Swerve, but then also talk to me about your elevator system. Okay, so our drive team this year is uh, MK4 Swerve from Swerve Drive Specialties. Um, it's awesome, it's basically powered shopping cart wheels. Uh, you can move in any direction, turn around. It's very maneuverable and fast. Um, and then our elevator system is a dual stage elevator. Um, it's on an angle so that it can run up to get to the uh, up to the grid to place place at all levels, both cones and cubes. Um, Christian can demonstrate that. Now, what is the what degree is this elevator at, and how has this angle been working out with you? So, um, I believe it's close to a 40, 51 degree angle. Okay. Um, we, had to, we had to play with that quite a bit um, to get it to be able to reach as far as possible while remaining inside a frame perimeter. Um, so, that was a lot of testing, math, and CAD to get that at the perfect, perfect angle. As a perfect transition into Adam, Talk to me about your your arm that you guys have on your carriage and then your intake as well. It seems like you guys are able to pick up both game pieces with just one intake. Yeah, so our intake this year is a uh, modified everybody intake. Uh, basically, we wanted to, instead of pick up cones from the top of the cone, we wanted to pick up from the fringe so that it allow us to do all three areas with the double, single, and off the floor. Um, this actually worked great for us because our initial design, we had a intake symbol to... Uh, 4481 with like a nice big like two four inch wheels and it was huge and to try to pick up cones from our orientations uh, we initially or then throughout the season we decided that we wanted to switch to this we thought it'd be simpler more doable and then we were kind of running a long time so uh, we switched to this we got that running in about a week and then here we are now doing pretty well we think um, and then our arm is a falcon geared down at 150 to 1 and then it's double chained so that uh, we can have the full about like 150 degrees range of motion throughout our entire system. Now can we demonstrate your intake with the cone and cube? Uh, yeah. And then talk to me through that process right there. Uh, okay, we can do cube or cone first. Okay, so this is our cone intake from ground. So we got a ground. And it just kind of pops in. Oh, so it doesn't go from the from the funnel, it goes from the edge. So we actually have a spot for all three. So oh, okay. uh, outtake. And then we can do our, do do the two single and the, the double. Mm -hmm. And then Yeah. All right. Uh, and can we try yeah. with a cube? cube yeah. So then we do for cubes. We just do from floor because we decided as a strategy, it'd be easiest to just throw the cubes out from the single and then try to pick them up off the floor. All right. And then now let's transition into Christian. Talk to me about the software and the presets you have. It seems like you guys also are using LEDs to communicate with your human player and also with the drivers as well. Yeah, so to start out the season, we have uh, spent a lot of work on uh, working with motion magic, which allows us to create a Bezier curve uh, that the motor will actually follow to go to a set position in the most efficient way possible. So that allows us to uh, tell it, uh, move to this position so that we can pick up the game piece. And we spend a lot of work making that as adaptable as possible. So we can just set to, uh, for example, a pickup position, 
it will move there, run the motors, and uh, as soon as a piece is picked up, it will automatically move back. Uh, we then also, uh, a new system that we implemented recently was having the motors run automatically while it is tucked. Because this is our default state that we move to, use to move across the field as nothing's really protruding and our center of gravity is really low. Uh, it is automatically moving inward so that no piece will fall out. Uh, we also have plenty of other uh, states, like we can press one button to place uh, middle or high. Uh, for example, in the cube, it is fully automatic. It will just uh, run it and place either middle or high. Uh, same with the cone, except now uh, we have confirmation. Uh, it asks for confirmation from the driver, and then they will outtake, and it will come back. We also have spent a lot of time working with the limelight to be able to fully uh, line up our uh, drive train, uh, to, uh, to be able to fully line up our bots to be able to place uh, by itself. This is both in cone mode and queue mode, which we uh, represent by the LEDs on the side of the robot. So you guys use the limelight ice also for the reflective tape on the nose and as well as the April tags, or you guys only yes. use one of the two? We use both dependent on what mode we are in. If we are in cone mode, we'll uh, line up to the retroflective tape. If we're in Q mode, we'll line up to the April tax. Really impressive, 1730. Thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through your robot on a five game winning streak, keeping it up really, really well robot. And I wish you guys the best of luck for this rest of the competition. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.